So breast augmentation, you say with some of the newer implants, you're getting better results than ever before. Absolutely. Just in the last year, this, there's been a whole slew of new implants. And initially when they first came out, I wasn't quite sure where they would fit in. And when I say new implants, we're talking about the gummy bear implant. And the, gummy, the, 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 term for the, the, the term for gummy bear implants, form stable. And the difference between the implants we use now and the gummy bear, just is how the cohesivity uh, or uh, the matrix, the silicone matrix, how thick it is. Um, so so it's actually like a gummy bear. Like if you it, slice it If you it in slice half, it, it looks like jello inside. Is that right? And the current implants, if you slice them, they're a little less than that, but they are, they're jello. So, they're co so the implants we've been using the last 20 years are cohesive gel matrix. And they're very safe. They have a thick envelope and they work really well. They can wrinkle a little bit. Um, they still are very soft and they're an excellent implant. But the new form stable implants are a little firmer and they don't wrinkle as much for those thin skin patients. And so where, where do they fit into this whole thing? So I've kind of developed an algorithm of like who's a better patient for the form stable or gummy bear implant and who's a better patient for the regular because the regular implants work great for all these years. Um, I found that the more muscular patients, I see a lot of them, see bodybuilders, figure and fitness competitors, yoga instructors, Pilates instructors, triathletes who tend to be a little more muscular and the fact is because they're so active they're pretty lean. Okay, So those people uh, you always want to put the implants under the muscle. And for those, that group of people, the athletic lady with very thin body, uh, 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 body fat, they don't have a lot of breast tissue, I like the form stable implant because when they flex and that animation deformity that occurs on all people with breast augmentation, it's really blunted by having a slightly firmer implant. So it's just a more natural result? It's this a type better of result. Bear. So the gummy bear implant looks the same, it might be a tiny bit firmer, almost imperceptibly firmer, but it's just firm enough so when they flex, they don't get an ex exaggerated uh, animation deformity. And so that's really huge for me because, you know, it, nothing's worse than a lady who has this perfect breast and when she flex, she has this deflection so of the implant. So that happens, and that's a concern and, 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 of, of theirs? Yes, and that can happen, and those people are at a higher risk for that. Now, what about these anatomically correct implants? Yeah, what are your thoughts there? You know, I use them, I would say, and most of my colleagues around the country don't use them that much. We use them probably, I'm going to say, less than 10%. Here's the person I use them on. Uh, lady recently, about three months ago, yoga instructor. She's 5'200 pounds, no body fat, no breast tissue, and she wants a very natural result. Okay, so in her case, she's that person who's very muscular, so I'm using a form-stable implant. It's shaped, so it has a more natural shape. Mm -hmm. I'm putting it under the muscle, okay? And so two things, she won't have the animation to form me, and she has a nice natural slope. Now that lady is completely thrilled. I just saw her last week, she just, she sent me already three patients and she's completely thrilled. 